The Ukrainian Security Service and Special Operations Forces prevented the advance of the invading Russian army in the direction of Pokrovsk, Donetsk region. Drones and artillery strikes were launched against the advancing invaders with a large number of armored combat vehicles, artillery installations, military vehicles and trucks carrying ammunition. As a result, equipment and a lot of ammunition were detonated and disabled. Most of the infantry soldiers who participated in the attack were destroyed along with their equipment. The survivors tried to escape with the wounded, but many did not succeed. Russian military constantly attack civilians of Kherson with drones who, because of this type of terror, try not to move around the city unnecessarily. This is written by the American publication The Wall Street Journal, which talked to the city residents. Thus, 38-year-old grocery store clerk in Kherson, Olga Chernysheva, said that she tries to stay home more because she has already been attacked by enemy drones twice. During the first incident, the woman was outside. Hearing the buzzing of an FPV drone, she managed to run into her house and the grenade hit her car. Olga received minor injuries. A few weeks later, the woman was forced to hide under a tree so that the drone would not notice her. And at the end of October, she watched from the window of her house as a drone dropped a grenade on a car parked nearby. The publication notes that before the full-scale invasion of the Russian Federation, the population of Kherson was almost 270,000 residents. Now it is less than a quarter. According to local authorities, since the beginning of July, more than 7,000 drone attacks have been carried out in the city, as a result of which almost 600 civilians were injured, 50 were killed. The WSJ notes that drone attacks on city residents indicate Russian intent to kill them, although Moscow has consistently claimed that its targets are military. Some Kherson residents suggest that the enemy may be using people as targets to train drone pilots. Videos published in Russian public groups show drones monitoring pedestrians for several blocks before dropping grenades on them. Ukrainians have also published videos of Russian drones with ammunition flying near residential buildings. These attacks have changed the lives of Kherson residents. They are afraid to go out on the street once again. 
try to stand under trees, not drive a car, but walk because when a drone appears, they can quickly hide in a shelter. State Emergency Service Representative Vladimir Siktor confirms that it has become more difficult for people to move around the city. Enemy drones are also attacking rescue vehicles. He said that a drone recently crashed into the roof of a building that was being repaired by State Emergency Service employees after an artillery strike. One of them injured his spine as a result of the fall and another received shrapnel wounds. To combat enemy drones, cars with anti-drone systems are driving around the city. However, the authorities are calling on citizens to evacuate as it is difficult to guarantee safety in such conditions. South Korea's President Yoon suk Yeol said Thursday he is not ruling out supplying weapons to Ukraine. Yoon said that Seoul may start with sending defensive weapons to Ukraine if it decides to provide weapons to support the country in its war with Russia. Yoon said his government will continue assessing the situation and monitor the level of North Korean troops' involvement in the war. Yoon said he also discussed North Korea's provocations including trash balloons, GPS jamming and missile provocations with the former U.S. President and now President-elect Donald Trump in a phone conference. The leaders agreed that they should meet as soon as possible, Yoon said. In response to a question about possible damage to South Korea's economy due to stronger protectionist policies under the new U.S. administration, Yoon said his government had already been making preparations to minimize any potential impact. Indo Trump Ukraine Thank you.